This is the voice, this is the voice, this is the voice of Radio Free Neruda. You know, I wasn't going to say this at all, but I can't help it. There you go again. <laughs> Dog dung. Pop, pops, poop, poo. Staunch, stench, pee, pew. I just wanted to be uh, clear and honest about why I will be missing the unbroken events in the next few days, which is that I found out last night that I have chicken pox. <laughs> Without me, this camp does not exist. Pardon? Myself is the only existing reality. And all other reality, including the external world and other persons, are representations of that self and have no independent existence. Us? Yes. The cat? Everything. We see. Sergeant, take this man out and have him shot! Damn. Still here. Waiting for Hillary Clinton at the mic. to be with all of you on this beautiful day. Can you call up someone? Yes. Thank you. Um, didn't ask for that. Now then, um, I'm glad that you read it because, uh, as I stated, it appears that what you you've given me it uh, it refers directly to the weeds. Uh, Frankie, listen to me. Yes, sir, speak. We have sent you a notice. If you don't mow your yard by the day given in that notice, we will come in and mow it. I will. Uh, I would prefer to do that with your cooperation and not just clear cut the yard. So when we come in, I will contact you and let you know we are coming and you can cooperate, cooperate with us and get a 15-foot buffer mode and whatever aerial, ever else area that we can cooperate and agree on. If you don't want to cooperate with us, that's fine. I'm mowing the whole yard. Under what? I, I, it's already been told. City ordinance. We gave you a copy of it last time. Not going over it again. Section, ten, on that. section 1017. It was given to you last time. Not going over it again. This is the authority Frankie, you're claiming. I'm claiming. not going over it again. You're not discussing at all, sir. I'm not. I have a question. No, sir, there is no question. There is no question. Now, what let's do you... talk about your utility bill, because I'd like to see you keep your no, water on. No, sir, if, if, that, if that is how it goes, there's nothing for me to do. 
if you will not answer my questions We've about my response, question. We've answered now you question. said that you said you're not entertaining questions. No, we've answered your question. Or what authority we're going to come up with? Is y'all. section 1017? If that's what we gave you a copy of last time. No, sir. sir what you gave me, Frankie, was Frankie, a copy. Frankie, why don't of, we cover? Frankie, why don't we first cover your water bill? Because I'd like to see. We you settled to... those two prongs, sir. Well, the, the next. But the payment hasn't been made yet, so I want you what, to know. At what that time and I and want, what what place? Let's, then let's look at this right here and let's talk about the water bill so we can get this done so you know what the next steps happen on the water bill. Okay. Well, if if you wish to to address the first. It, uh, the first issue, sure, we'll, 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 we'll pick it up there. Uh, if you don't wish to discuss the third issue, uh, uh, we'll pick that up in a moment. Okay. So your current bill is $46.34. That's yeah. for water, sewer, garbage, and tax. Yeah. The payment that is due on April 20th, is that $46.34, a $100 payment on the past due amount for a total amount of $146.34. Yes, sir. If you don't pay it on April 20th, then a 10% late fee is added. Yes, and sir. That's, that's the $46.34, $100, a late fee of $57.24 for a total payment of $203.58. Yes, sir. You go to the next page. If you don't pay it by May 25th, your service will be disconnected. And to get it reconnected, you'll have a payment of $46.34, the $100 on the past due amount, a late fee of $57.24, and a reconnect fee of $25 for a total payment of $228.58. Yes, sir. So if you pay it by April 20th, that saves you $57.24. It's not an issue of payment. We can make payments this instant if, if okay. uh, that's what is required. Uh, now, then, what I would like, to, and since, since we're, we're talking about billing, I, I would like a copy, an itemized copy of what constitutes my past bill. And I should also like to ask uh, that I be granted the reasonable accommodation of a, a monthly water bill that's in a large print type. This is to that's why we gave you this in 20 point. Well, range. wonderful. But your this, future this bills will be in that same format attached to the regular bill. Wonderful. But, but it will be in the same will, format. Will it, will it reflect uh, the other informations as well? I'll as, make as, note of that. As, as, as water consumption, that's a very important issue. That, uh, we, it, we it'll be, it, it, it's itemized on the, the bills that are printed yes, out by the machine. We, okay. we had, so... Uh, we can provide that for you. Right. Well, I want to interject. We are having some difficulty with getting the post office to deliver mail to the property. I know that's not exactly the city's purview. No, so I got, I'll just uh, request that it, it, until we can get that issue settled, uh, just ask for a general delivery that we can pick up at, Okay, stop. well then make a note of that. We'll then just have them do that. Oh, thank if you. Thank you. Um, or you could come pick up your bill here at City Hall. Well, that, 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 that would be probably equally possible. He doesn't have a post office box. Like that, that I guess it was stolen. It was stolen. Uh, tearing it down. And stolen. Um, Wonderful. Then uh, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with 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 that arrangement, and I also take it as a, a tacit admission that in the past the city wasn't uh, compliant and, and failing to provide that. Now then, okay. So we we've, we've discussed 
uh, the first part, the water issue, when to pay and why. And I think I can, I can settle that before I leave today. Uh, so, uh, what was, and, and I, I don't think you have any, uh, did you wish to discuss the second prong? Second prong is taking care of your yard. You can do something. Well, no, that was that, that was actually to, to closet my excretion. And we've already agreed to that. Yes, ma'am. So, okay, so you don't, you don't wish to go over that. The only we have is the yard. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, by city uh -huh. ordinance, we have a 14-inch limit of vegetation. Wonderful. So you are referring to 10 to 17. Yes, ma'am. And then, and as I said before, if you will look at the, 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 the body of the law that's given under section 1017, subsection A, 2 is the defense to your 14 inch uh, requirement. Frankie? It's a requirement. Uh, there's it's no a requirement, and that's where we stand, and that is final. It's an adopted city ordinance. If you, want, if you want to argue before the judge, well, that if you if if you have so true, if you have if you, you have if you, sir, if you have read what I have written, then you will understand that because what you wish to do involves my property. Uh, Frankie, there's an end of discussion on this. What I'm offering to do is give you the opportunity to mow your, the yard yourself or wait until we come and mow it and work with us and see if we can't come to some kind of an agreement on what stays mowed. It is your choice. If we come mow it, we will put a lien against your property for the cost of us mowing it. Um. I do not accept your argument on agriculture use in an urban setting. It does not yeah. negate the city or Set, setting setting. No, Frank. And you haven't read everything. I said in any and if you will, and I'm referring back to the to the written response. Please check your copy and see if I'm saying other one. If you if you look below where we make the claim of agricultural defense and we still do it says in any instance because section 1017 addresses property constitutional protections of due process attach and, we will take and that is that that is uh uh footnoted well we will follow the, the process we will follow the due process all right now then, uh, and below that statement, due process entails, at minimum, notice and prior hearing. And that's footnoted to uh, the case that that's, uh, sets forth a very clear... We're not, not going to have a hearing over it. We, we, we will provide you with you're not, you, notice. You are not going to, to grant prior hearing. Well, that is that is the, be up to the attorney to decide. Uh, well, no, actually, the actually the courts you. have long decided that. Frankie, I'm not and here they, to they, argue legal matters with you. Then the maybe you should bring the me. city attorney in. No, we're not going to. Oh, the you're not going is to. Going to get mowed. Well, either sir. by you or by the city, and hopefully with your cooperation. But your yard is going to get mowed. You can decide whether or not you want to do it, or if you want the city to come in and do it and cooperate with us, or if you don't want to cooperate with us and we'll mow the yard after we have followed the due process. Uh, that's what you say, sir. I'm asking, do you understand what due process entails? Our attorney fully do you understands understand what due process entails. Then you will understand that due, due, due process entails. Frankie, you don't understand. I'm not arguing that today. 
I'm telling you the next I'm not steps arguing with you either. I'm discussing this matter. There's nothing to discuss on that. There is much to discuss. No, there's nothing to discuss. You were going to come back today with a yes or no answer. No, ma'am. I, yes I didn't say that. I said I would come back That's with a the response. That's the end of the discussion. Well, if, if this is your discuss, if your argument is my yard can stay a mess, then th there's nothing here to discuss. That's no compromise on your part. That's just you saying, my yard can stay a mess. And that's not an acceptable response on our part for us. No, that's either, not you, either you will take care of your yard or we will. Hmm. And we can do it with your cooperation to where maybe you can save some of the areas in there. Or we can do it without your cooperation. But one way or the other, your yard will be mowed. I would prefer to do that. I would prefer you to take care of it. I understand you may not be physically able to in the condition the yard is in, so I'm willing to do it with your cooperation. But if I can't get your cooperation, the yard is getting mowed. After we follow the due process, I understand and our attorney will be intimately involved in the process leading up to us coming onto your property and mowing your yard. Rest assured. So what I'm hoping is you'll cooperate with us. But whether you do or not, we will get to the point that our attorney says we have followed due process. You can go take care of the, of the problem. And I am pointing out where the United States Supreme Court has said. No, that's the, we're not going over that. All right, then let me understand what it is you just told me. Sense. And please sit, okay. sir. It makes okay. us. You are saying that you will uh, follow due process, and you assert that due process is adequate notice. Now, our attorney will decide, will tell us when we have completed no, the no, due I process. No, I just adequate notice. You just mentioned much about. We, notice. We, we will give notice, but the attorney will determine when we have completed the due process. You will get notice in the mail and what other, other steps our attorney says we have to follow before we can undertake the project. All right, then. What we are saying, then, if that's the case, is that your actions are against my property. Duly noted. We're done. Well, no, you didn't allow me to finish. No, because you're going to be arguing all right, constitutional then, law then, and all that kind no, of stuff. Then, then and let our me attorney tell you, will take all that into consideration. Then, then let me tell you what I should, since you've told me what you shall do, I shall tell you what I shall do. Okay. I shall go before the civil district attorney of the county and seek uh, relief through, uh, uh, what is the process? Oh, uh, uh, injunction. That's because perfect. what you propose to do and what the city has done in the past is violate my, uh, my liberty and my property do, Frankie. Uh, Frankie, without this, due What process. this comes down to is you can work with us or you can fight us every step of the way. Either way, I believe what will end up happening is you, your yard will Sir, the city has injured both my liberty and my That's property and without due process. So you've got a decision to make. You can either work with us or you can fight us. Now, where do I pay this water? I'll show you. At the window? Mm -hmm. Yes. And you say uh, it is due upon the... 20th. We'll 20th. Four days. Four days. Four days. No, it becomes late after the 20th. It's actually due now. It becomes well, sir, late then, on the 20th. Then, then why have you written payment due by? By. You can pay it on or before that date. Thank you. Thank you.
proceeding was brought to you by the makers at Golematic. Bright lies for dark truths.